Alright guys, this is a little weird for me because um, usually I'm driving in a car with um, Dan the cameraman and I'm pretty pissed off because I'm shooting a show called Third Wheel. You should go watch it. I'm gonna give you an action whenever you're ready, Lauren. You go ahead. What's up? Action. <laughs> and then you want me to cue you or you got it? Promise. You got it? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Whenever you're ready, I'm gonna give you, I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm gonna wave to you. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> but don't right now because you're about to watch the new series on my channel called Driving with Lauren. Slash Lauren's about to get into a car accident. On this series, it's called Driving with Lauren, which means you're gonna be driving with Lauren. And you might be thinking, oh my God, this is so exciting. It's not. It's literally we're gonna drive around and you're just gonna, you know, see what goes on when I drive around because I think anything I do is fascinating. And if you're honestly down to watch me in my bedroom, why are you not down to watch me drive a car? That's your problem that you need to figure out not mine so on this episode of driving with lauren we're gonna be driving around the town and i you know i'm kind of like a native of the west side of la so i know a lot of people i know the streets i know the lingo i just i drive around these streets all the time so i figured why not just ease into the series with me just driving around saying what's up to all my peeps i don't want to spoil any other episodes but um i'm hungry as and I want to get donuts. And I know every single every single other person on this crew wants donuts. This is the behind the scenes episode officially because uh, nothing is working already. <laughs> so we're getting donuts. My grandma and my mom are gonna be so pissed when they see this. They're gonna be like, Lauren, you need to learn how to be funny without saying the F word. All you do is say the F word. I went on vacation with my grandparents and they were like, all you do is say you idiot. And I'm like, you just said you idiot. And then we're all like, what are you doing? So when we pull over to get the donuts, you guys can figure out the sound situation while I get the donuts. I'm picking them out, by the way. I'm getting out of the car. There's no one that can stop me. We can pull out. you, Meredith! I've never seen you eat a donut in your life, you liar! Oh, we have a walkie-talkie, by the way, so that they can talk to me. See, now we're in the middle of the crosswalk and this lady's pissed. All right, go around. Go around. Don't get hit. Should I be like, ha, I almost hit ya. <laughs> a lot of people notice in third wheel that there's always a car following us. I don't know if you know this, but everything in life is fake. Movies, fake. TV shows, fake. Kim Kardashian's butt, fake. Everything is fake. I mean, nothing about me is fake, honestly. I can't afford anything. But there's a follow car behind us because they need like sound and they need to yell at me over a walkie talkie because apparently I need direction in life. What else is new? All I do all day is I make a joke and then I look in the rear view mirror to make sure everyone's laughing in the car behind me. Dunkin' Donuts to the left, everyone. America's favorite donuts. Oh my God, look at these little old ladies. Holy shit. Meredith, that's us in a few years. In my life right now, you know, I'm single, I'm mingling. My managers think I'm going through a rough patch. I don't really agree necessarily. I was like, sorry I'm so perfect all the time and that I never do anything with my life. But like, just because I go out every once in a while doesn't mean I'm going through a rough patch. All right, if you want a handful, go manage Justin Bieber. I'm doing just fine. Wait, where's the donut shop? I feel like we went too far. You know what annoys me? Someone commented on my Instagram the other day. It was a picture of like my f***ing shoes. Someone was like, wow, I love how you get to get whatever you want and you literally do nothing with your life. I'm sorry, are you kidding me? I'm driving around all day filming quality Oscar-worthy content. I've shot a movie two days ago. I shot another show the other day. I'm hand curating an application that's available on the App Store. There's a lot of things that I do on a daily basis. I work from six o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night every single day. So don't tell me I don't do with my life. I'm a little defensive. Can I park anywhere or what? So, fun fact, um, me and Jen are moving out from living together. Oh my God, drama. No, there's no drama. It's called, we're old as f and wanna live by ourselves because we're grown independent woman. But we're not grown independent woman enough to the point where we can really live that far away from each other. So we're moving into separate apartments in the same building. And she was gonna move to a different part of LA. And I was like, bitch. And so I made her go look at a uh, different apartment in our building and she just texted me and said she's going to. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. What? 
I can't even drive right now, sorry. If you asked me four years ago, Lauren, do you want to film a driving with Lauren in Los Angeles? I would say, And when I first started going to meetings and stuff, I would always be running really, really late because I could never find parking. And so I went to a really, really big meeting at this place called Viacom, which is the people who own like MTV and VH1. And it's like a really big meeting. I had a good meeting and I go back in my Prius at the time and I'm going to leave the parking garage. And you know how there's like giant cement poles in parking garages? Cause like building structures, I don't know. I was trying to make the turn and then all of a sudden, <laughs> My car just like wrapped around the pole and I scraped the whole side of my Prius. And so then I was driving a, a beater, a beater Prius around Los Angeles because I'm super professional like that. Whoa! Oh f am I getting on the freeway? The other thing about Los Angeles is there's a million freeways. They're always like, I'm taking the 405 to the 101 to the 110 to the 10 to the 5 to the 6 to the 7, 8 and bam. What Chris? What? What, Meredith? What, MJ? God damn it. Else, right? no, Dan! Sorry, I'm trying to fix a camera. Dan, you literally have one job and it's called cameraman. And I'm the one doing it right now. Wilshire, I don't want to be on Wilshire. I remember when I moved to Los Angeles, everyone was like, Wilshire's the new 405. And I thought I was so cool saying that because like it made it sound like I knew things about LA. So I'd be like, oh, I don't take the 405, I just take Wilshire. That makes no sense, right? Uh, you know you should go uh, f right off. I think it does make sense though. No, but why would you take Wilshire instead of the 405? It logically makes no sense. You take the pull it up. I'm sorry, Meredith. If you want to be in this episode, you can come to this f***ing car. But right now, you're in the follow car. So if you could kindly shut up and let me do my job. I almost just hit this lady. Meredith, you almost just made me kill a woman. You know the best part about LA is when you you get to a street like this and you look if anyone's around you, then you start going really really slow. So you can get a picture of the palm trees like that. Get a get a good get a good angle of that, Dan. Dan, that looks like shit. I can see it. What is that? Oh, there we go. Look at that. It makes it look like my life is a fairy tale. I don't know if I want to raise kids in Los Angeles. Like, imagine living right here with a family. I mean, my spray tans would be conveniently close, but that's about it. I don't know what my mom is doing right now. She um. Bluetooth, the best invention ever. Hands free, love it. Yeah. Hi, mom. What are you doing? Just got on the road, just sitting two hours of traffic. Why? Where are you going? Leaving Milwaukee to go back to Chicago. Why are you in Milwaukee? See? Like, I'm filming uh, driving with Lauren right now. How's that going? It's it's going good. You're you're on it. it it's like it's currently happening. What do you mean? Well, I mean we're filming, and I'm on the phone with you, so they're filming me on the phone with you. By the way, you need to not dress that dog like an old lady. What mom, mom, it is a cute cable knit sweater. If my dog is cold, she's gonna wear a cute okay. cable knit sweater. It does not look like a like grandma. Yes, poor dog looks like an old lady. Mom, I wear cable knit sweaters. She was pissed off about it too. Well, cause she always looks pissed off. If you dress me up like that, I'd look pissed off too. All right, Kiki, yeah. well, I'm sure um, everyone's a little sick and tired of hearing us chat, so. Hey, bye girl. Bye. Bye, Meredith. Ugh, why, are you so, why are you like Meredith more than me? Meredith, say bye. Bye. That was Chris. <laughs> Meredith's balls dropped.